The Final Four for men's college basketball is set for this Saturday, but whether or not their team wins at all, number 11 seed Loyola Chicago is set to have a big win on campus. Indeed, the basketball admissions bump is our first story trending now. The Ramblers out of Loyola, Chicago, the new darlings of March Madness. The darlings of basketball may soon become the darlings of high school seniors applying to colleges, since research shows that lower profile schools that perform unexpectedly well, like say a, a number 11 seed making it to the final four, see an increase in donations, alumni participation, and best of all for a school, a huge bump in applications, sometimes up to 50%. We can't wait to see you on campus this fall. If basketball isn't your thing, we have a different kind of a Final Four to check out called Mundane Madness. Website Atlas Obscura is hosting the competition, trying to find the most wondrous everyday invention of all time. The finalists are paper, toilet paper, the can opener, and the sewer. The championship vote will be this Friday. Now, folks, no word on if the winning invention will see a huge spike in use, but yeah, I'm, I'm guessing yes, probably. Yeah. And now to pop culture entertainment, Carmen Sandiego's return is at number two. The PBS quiz show had kids so excited about geography, or, I mean, as excited as they could be back in the 90s, and now it is back as an animated show and a live action movie, both on Netflix and both starring Jane the Virgin star Gina Rodriguez as the thieving villain Carmen. My family's gonna freak. Oh, they're gonna lose their minds. The 20 episode show will be out next year. No details yet on the movie or if Rockapella will be on board to sing the theme song again. Tell me where now this is a bit of a stretch for a transition, but follow me here, okay? okay? If right. you like to eat burgers on your couch while you binge watch, but you don't want to push pause long enough to squeeze ketchup out of a bottle, well, we have a solution for you. <laughs> ketchup slices. Yeah, you heard that right. It's at number three. And join us in the slice age. It's going to be like the first man on the moon, except this time the moon is a sandwich. It's official, humans, we are lazy. Now the Kickstarter for Slice of Sauce has just met its fundraising goal, which means this June, people will be having eight packs of ketchup slices delivered to their kitchens, all for just 10 bucks. The slice is going to revolutionize the way that we sauce. They promise to be a no mess way to layer the condiment on a burger, sandwich, wrap, or just snack when you want a little ketchupy goodness in your life. This flavor is the real deal. I mean, as long as I can get a nice cold slice of beer to go with my burger, I'll try it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm with you on that. That's what's trending now.